Hey, how's it going guys? In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create a Google Sheet instance in Python. Before we can create a Google Sheet uh, service instance in Python, we need to first of all enable the uh, Google Sheet service. For my other videos, I show you how to create a new project and as well as how to create an OAuth uh, credential file. But here, I'm, um, under my, I'm using my Google API uh, for zeros project. And the first thing you want to do is want to go to library. Here you want to search for the Google API service that you want to use. And here I want to use the Google Sheets API. So I can just click on search for sheets. And that will only be one result uh, display. And click on that. And make sure that the Google Sheet API is enabled. So enable the service. And otherwise, uh, when you create a, a service instance, you're going to get an error message that uh, this service is not enabled. Okay, and once you've done that, so now let's open our Python editor. Now let's go ahead and open our Python editor. So here I'm using uh, Spline Text for this tutorial. And now click on New File. And I'm going to uh, name this script, uh, create, let's call this uh, Sheet. Uh, service.py and we need to uh, first of all install the, the libraries first so here open your command prompt and I'm using Windows so here let me activate my environment real quick so here let me grab something real quick so here I know uh, in the past, a lot of people uh, are using OAP2 clients to create the OAP uh, token file. And the token file basically store your uh, credential assets. So you don't have to keep logging in uh, over and over to over and over to uh, use the API service. But recently, uh, the OAP2 client is being depreciated. So here noting, noticing that OAP2 client is now depreciated. And no more feature will be added to the library. So that means now uh, from here, you can see that they recommend you use the Google uh, hyphen off or in the OAuth lib uh, package to uh, create the OAuth credential access. And that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial as well. So let's minimize this uh, page. And so if you see a tutorial that is using OAuth to clients, um, I mean, honestly, I don't know what to tell you. You can follow those tutorials, but uh, the security might get a little bit um, messy. Anyway, let's uh, continue. So here, let's go back to the command prompts. We need to install the Google Client Library. There are three libraries that we need to install. So here, the first package that you need to install is the Google-API-Python and hyphen client. This is the first library you need to install. So here I have the uh, package installed. So here uh, it's saying that my requirement is already satisfied. The next package is the uh, Google of uh, HTTP2 library. So here you want to type pip install and Google hyphen A-U-T-H hyphen HTTP LIB2 and this is the second package. So, uh, again, and this library is already installed on my uh, on my environment. And the last package is uh, pip install. You want to install the Google AUTH and OAUTH lib. So OAuth lib library and enter. And that's it. Now that's for the Google libraries. And this one more package I like to use uh, when I'm doing uh, integration with Google Sheets. So that's the pandas library. And here I'm going to also install the pandas library as well. So pip install pandas. Okay, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create the Google Sheet service instance. You won't be needing the pandas library, but for the future videos, if you want to learn uh, for things like how to uh, import uh, Google Sheet data into your uh, Python program, 
um, then in those cases I'll be using the pandas library uh, pretty extensively. Now here let's go back to the uh, Python editor. So usually when I'm writing a um, Python program to integrate with Google uh, API service, I like to create my Google related uh, API variables first. So here let me grab my this this, this link will give a will gives you a list of all the uh, API service that are available. And I also put the link in the uh, video description. So here the link is called developers.google.com and forward slash APIs uh, hyphen explorer. And so here are all the um, Google API service that are available. So here I want to know my Google uh, Sheet API service uh, API name. So here search for Sheets. So here there's a one Google API called Google Sheets API. And that will also gives you the latest uh, version name, which is v4. Now click on that. So here if you want to know the, AP, the Google Sheet API uh, name, so the name that you need to provide in your Python program. It's going to be the first, uh, the first object name, so Sheets. For example, if you want to use Google Calendar API, so here let's search for Calendar. And here for the uh, Calendar API, the latest version is V3, and the API name is, uh, is Calendar. So just one thing to learn if you don't know uh, what's the API service name. So here let's go back. Actually, I can just go back. So first I'm going to create my uh, client secret file variable. And this is going to be a uh, client secret JSON file uh, path, for, uh, file path. And I also need to create my API service name. So it's going to be sheets. We also need to create a uh, API version variable. And here I'm going to create my scopes. So for the scopes, uh, let's do this. So I'll show you how to uh, search for the scopes. So here let's go to my browser. And in general, if you don't know what scopes an API has, so here I'll search for Google Sheets API scopes. And usually should be the first uh, first page, authorize requests and followed by the API name. And next you want to scroll down the page and the scopes is usually list at the bottom. So here are all the scopes. If you don't know what scopes are, the scope is basically uh, the level permission access that you're requesting from users. So if you're only uh, asking for read only access, then you want to use this uh, scope right here. But if you need to uh, modify a user's uh, accounts or Google's uh, app, like in this case will be Google Sheets, then you want to use this scope right here. So it's the, uh, the spreadsheet scope. But if you just purely need to read the Google Sheet data, then you want to use the spreadsheets that read only. And there's also a couple more uh, scope that you can add because scopes is list. You can have different uh, layers of scopes. But since we'll only be uh, using Google Sheet API, we're not going to make this uh, program more complicated. So I'm going to just grab this uh, Google Sheets uh, spreadsheet API, which allows me to rewrite and update uh, a user's uh, Google Sheet account. So here I'm going to grab the this scope right here. I'm just going to copy. And under the scope uh, variable, oops, this will be a string. And I'm going to provide the scope name. Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, importing our library. So here I'm going to create my, import my pickle module OS. And I'm also going to import a ppprints function. So here from this point, I'm going to import the uh, Google API libraries. And the flow uh, class install app flow.
and last one so google of transport requests and we're going to import the uh, requests uh, class so remember uh, previously we installed three different uh, google api libraries from each of those library and these are the things i need so the flow class install app flow build uh, function and requests uh i think this uh um, i think it's a, a function i think so i have to double check and here i'm going to import the pandas module so here i'm going to create a credential uh, token file the token file will store the uh, authorization access this time is purely uh, optional it's really depending on how are you uh, using your uh, application or your program so here first of all i'm going to check uh, if the token file exists or not and if the file exists so here's the the file the token file is called token.pickle and if the uh, token file exists, then I want to open the file. And I'll name the file as uh, token. So here we're going to, actually I forgot, oops, let me close this. And this one more step I forgot. So I need to uh, initial the credential variable first. So I'm going to assign a num value to the credential uh, variable. And here, if the uh, token that pick a file exists, they want to load the token, the token uh, that pick a file, and will assign the uh, the credential information to the credit variable. And next, we need to do couple uh, checks. If the credential file does not exist, or if the credential file is not uh, valid then here so here i'm going to write the if the else function then want the users to create the uh, the token file so here we'll create a flow uh, instance so from the install app uh, flow uh, class and this uh, uh, from client secret files uh, method it should, should be a constructed uh, method and so here we want to provide the cl uh, client secret JSON file as well as the scope. So here I'm going to indent these two lines because here I'm going to do a check. Uh, so if the first one uh, passed, if the first uh, check passed, then I want to check if whether or not uh, if the credential is expired or if the token file needs to be refreshed. And if it does, then I'm going to refresh the uh, token file using the request uh, request requests function. So here, here's a typo. It should be a uh, cap capital R request. And once we uh, construct the flow instance, so here I'm going to uh, create my credential and flow dot run local server now once we have done that so we need to uh, create the token file so we open that token dot pickle this token and we're going to dump the authorization uh, information so dump uh, credential and token and lastly we can now go ahead and uh, create our uh, google sheet service instance so here i'm going to try create a service instance and using the build function so here we need to provide the api service name api uh, version as well as the credential file 
uh, not the credential or the credential file or the credential information. So I'll pass the uh, CRED uh, variable. And so here, if there's no error, then I'm going to print a message service created successfully. Oops, uh, else, sorry, exception. Oh, should be accept. Exception, plus E, and I'll print the exception message. All right now, and so here we can, I'm going to do one more step further. And so here, I'll print the service uh, variable. Now let's just go ahead and give this, uh, give the script a try. So I'll run the script. And here, oh, so I forgot to activate my environment. Uh, should be Google API. Let me try again. Okay. Okay, here I have a, I have a typo. So let me take a look. Unexpect keyword argument method. So, oh, so here should be a function. So let me try again. Okay, great. Now you get this message, uh, service created successfully. And once you construct the Google Sheet API service instance, you should get this uh, uh, key right here. That is a unique identifier that this the identifier to that uh, service instance. And for now, this is everything I'm going to cover in this video. For the future videos, uh, since with Google Sheets, it's a pretty complex API even though there are only four types of uh, classes or resources uh, in what that's what Google like to call them resources. And but each resource is actually very, very uh, complex to use. So what I'm going to do is I'll basically uh, create different uh, examples like uh, live scenario examples, um, you know, how you can use um, Google APIs to automate some of the things like like how to import a pandas data frame to your Google Sheet and so on. Yeah, but for now, um, this is everything I'm going to cover in this video. And feel free to leave a comment below if you have any question. If you enjoyed this video or if you found the information useful, please give my feel like and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.